Bless you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. This is Apostle Peter Daniel speaking to you in Heaven and Air live program. The one we used to do every Monday to Friday. Every Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. So you are looking at me right now. Uh, I pray the Lord God will be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, today, the Lord is giving us another message uh, which we are going to look on to. So we are going to look on to, which is very, very important. And uh, it's not something you can just overlook because it's uh, one of the things that is making Christians to go to hell unknowingly. It is what uh, is affecting the church as at now. So I pray the Lord God will help us in Jesus' name. So before we go into the message, I want us to pray right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, in the name of Jesus, internal rock of aging, we want to thank you. We want to appreciate you because of your mighty power, because of your glorious power. We want to appreciate you because you never fail us. We want to thank you because of your mighty hands that you have released into our life. We want to thank you because this morning you are going to speak to our soul, speak to our spirit, speak to our mind, and every work of the darkness will be totally destroyed. We want to say thank you, Jesus, because the work of the enemy in our soul has been destroyed. Our Father, our God, we pray this morning that as we are hearing your message, O oh Lord, that you will open our eyes to see, you will open our eyes to see the things of the spirit, you will open our our mind to go deep in the things of the spirit. You will reveal the mystery of your word, the power of your word, the power of your word in the mighty name of Jesus. That everyone that is looking at us right now, everyone looking at us right now, that we understand the mystery of your word and that we see the vision of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We hereby cancel every work of the darkness in Jesus mighty we pray amen amen god bless you god bless you i pray that the lord god almighty uphold you to the ends as you are looking at me today by the special grace of god we want to talk on uh, the message god is giving to the church generally god is giving to the church generally uh is he told me the topic the topic sounds somehow when I he first told me the topic and then he began to review some things to me and begin to tell me something. We when he began when he was telling me these things, the thing baffled me, and uh, you know, I was like, ah, so this thing can take someone to hell. Like is this thing can take someone to hell. So I was like so surprised, you see. Uh and what he told me is this: he said, he said, uh, Christian. Uh, he said, Christian, you have already sold your soul to the devil. So you are on your way to hell. So I was like, Christian, you have already sold your soul to the devil. So you are on your way to hell. So you are going to hell for that. So that thing, that kind of things is uh, when the Lord first told me, I was like, ah, Christian, they have sold their soul to the devil. In what way? In which area? No wonder Christians keep on going to hell. We already know about the sinner who doesn't give their life to Jesus Christ. So we have no business with those people because we know they already know their way that they are going to hell. Those who didn't have Jesus into their life, they already know their judgment. The hellfire is sure for them. But those people who are serving God with all their heart, those who have confessed Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, those who are truly saved, from the heart so what should we say about them what should we see about them and uh, we, we found out that even upon how they are living holy life righteous life on this earth they still stand before the judgment rule and they still send them to hell so this thing is a big time problem the big time thing is something that uh, we we are worried 
especially those people who God is giving the entire message to, is a things of uh, a sadness to us. Anytime we we, we we see this kind of things, I pray that the Lord God will minister to everyone watching me right now as you are getting this message. When God began to tell me, uh, he began to mention some things to me and told me where areas where Christians have been, I have sold their soul to the devil. And uh, is this area he mentioned is a common area, a noticeable area. Ah, Father, I pray that God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. The first thing God mentioned to me, we are the, 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 the Christian have been selling their soul to the devil, is true loan. Loan. You see, sometimes, I know when I mention loan, you will like, which one is loan again? You see, you see some new companies that will just come out, they will call them themselves one name. You did not know where this money is coming from. They will ask you to register your name, put your picture, put everything down. By collecting loan from them, he said, this most of these companies are sent directly from the kingdom of the darkness. Most of these companies, companies that give loans to people, are sent directly from the kingdom of darkness. You know, people need money. So it's an exchange of life and change of soul. Borrow me money, and I'm using my soul to stand. So by the time, whether you pay it or you are not able to pay it, you have already exchanged your soul with it. Loan. You will like, is, is everything that people put to hell? Yes, it might not be everything, but there are some things you did not put your mind in. There are some things you did not take note that is taking Christian to hell. You see, the devil will not come and force you overnight and tell you, come and collect it. The devil will not come overnight and tell you, come and accept you. No. The devil has planned this world. He has organized everything. His own is for you to just enter his track, his, tra his trick unknowingly. Unknowingly. All these companies you go around to go and borrow money, borrow things. Most of them are sent from the kingdom of darkness as an exchange of your soul. So as Christian doing this, their soul is already tied in the kingdom of the darkness. Those who have the power of God and have the grace of God will pay their loan and clear them. But those who are, we have some people who have who have collected their loan and because of the disturbance of the people who owns the money, they, they died on the process. Some because of much disgrace have to run away. Some because of much worries, they seek and they were admitted. This is not where we are going to do. It is what one of the things that the devil wanted. But the way we are going to now is the Christian matter. Is the Christian matter. When the Christian go to the loan of company, or no comp loan, uh, loan company, and you went to go and borrow money there, the money they are borrowing you, you know where it comes from? You didn't know. So the moment you borrow it, the, mo the moment you borrow it, the, that time, your, your soul is already tied. That's why they will first tell you that uh, before they can borrow you, you have to wait for those some days. When after they have work on your name, when after they have submitted your details and your information, Rita is in the, in the computer. Most of them. I'm not saying all of them, but I'm, I'm also not encouraging it because once God said no, we can't take someone to hell. So what is it that as a Christian you should go and take? Another thing is this that God mentioned to me is grant. All those free, free money 
that we will say from uh, from United States, there are some this uh, uh, some group of people uh, they come together to contribute money together so that they can be helping Nigeria, helping Africa. Those who are poor, they want to eradicate poverty. All of this is lie. Most of this came from the contribution of the people in Illuminati. The more the contributions of the people in, in Illuminati. And this is an instructions from the devil. Send them that start giving them the money for free. In the exchange of their soul, you too, you collect money, you begin to spend. Not know that your soul has already been purchased by money. You are spending your soul money. No wonder Christian no more making heaven. No wonder after all the suffering of Christian on earth, after all the fasting, after all the prayers, after all the services, after all they have served God, they still end up in hell. Sometimes I will just sit and I begin to think, ah, ah. even the holiness people are still going to hell. What is making them to go to hell? In one way or the other, they will commit to something, they will enter into that trap. And do you know what? When a man dies, immediately he dies, the devil appears to you and asks for his property. He said, Me, I'm not having your property. Me, I don't they use your ring. I don't use makeup. I don't use this and that. I don't use this. I don't use that. When you begin to explain yourself, I don't use, I don't use that. We tell you the money I give you on the come. Do you know where it came from? Be careful. God is saying that all this thing is taking people to hell. You just go to one company. He said they are giving money for free. Money for free. For free. Even your government is not giving you for free. Though we know that come some country, come country not like Nigeria, giving stupids. But the government cannot, for one reason, give you big money. I said, yeah, everybody, we are collect big money for free. But we are. They can only afford treatment for you. And these people, they will give you one million, two million, two hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. Eh? He said, ten million. He said, I like any of what you want to collect. <laughs> And then you will give you millions of men. I said, go and open business, yo. open this and this. Yo. You should say, ah, it's too true. We open it. No wonder the business also always collapses at the end. It possesses of your soul. Be careful. You are Christian. You are not of this world. You are only here for a meantime. It's easy. It's easy. You are not going to be here always. Very soon you are going to live here. Very soon. You are not the children of this world. You are children of, the, of God. Whatsoever the world offers you, be careful to accept it. Because it will endanger your soul. Endanger your life. Endanger your heaven. It will collect the certificate of heaven from you. It will turn you from the candidate of heaven to candidate of hell. It will take away the seal of God from your head and make you to have the seal of the devil just because of money. Just because of money. So be careful. Be careful. Well, man of God, do you even know, forget about the grant now, do you even know that it's not all tight and often that you're supposed to collect. You don't know. That is why it is good you have to be closer to God. Many times we go, tell me. Said, not offering and tight, I collect. Oh. So when people want to send me tight, I first pray. <laughs> Ah, sir, I am your member, sir. I this and this. I am your member, sir. I'm led to send you tight. The Lord told me not all tight and offering are acceptable. Many of you, you have been paying your tight to a wrong touch. 
<laughs> Do you know that by collecting wrong tithe and offering, it can remove your name from the book of life? The things about God is this. It's not us that can send somebody to hell now. Listen to me very well. The Bible says something. In Revelation chapter 20, 21, verse 27. He said, For no unclean things will enter heaven. No unclean things. Look at that quotation. No unclean things. So, and the Bible says in the book of James, chapter 2, verse 10, he said, If you are right in all laws, but in one point you offend, one, he didn't say that two, he said, One point, of, he said, You are guilty of all. You are guilty of all. So all those pastors telling you it's not all sin that takes all to hell. They are deceiving you. Sin is sin. When they classify it as sin, it becomes sin. Do you know as a man of God, you do collect me as I do collect all tight. If you come to my present child. I will say in Jesus' name, I must pray for you. The reason I'm praying for you is because I want to hear him say no. I will pray for you. If I hear him say no, I return your money. God, I take someone to hell. That's why I said, ignorant me. The, the Lord said, the Christian have sent their soul to the devil. They don't tell me the kind of life we're not living in our life. You don't know as a man of God. You don't know. Do you even know that even as a Christian as you are now, paying your tithe to a wrong location? Wrong location means a thought that is not well recognized by heaven. Thoughts that they are using worldliness. Pastor, that his life is not according to God. You can lead it to hell. You are to God, you are supporting the kingdom of the darkness. To God, you are supporting Satan. To God. My brother, <laughs> I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Another thing that God mentioned that takes people to hell is just collecting money anyhow. Listen to me. Where well, what I mean by anyhow is this: somebody who went to go and do ritualist, you went there to go and ask him for help. And the money he used, he collected through the person he killed. Blood money, he used it to support you. You know, say, hey, it is God that provides for me. Hallelujah. And he went to go and kill somebody before he get the money. You now use the money to go and do something, go and pay, if you can't pay that. Doing so can take you to hell. It means before you, you don't just accept that, ah, my brother, give me money. Ah, ask the Holy Spirit first. Somebody who is a Yahoo Yahoo is doing Yahoo boy, Yahoo guys, G guys. They came to your church and paid their tithe. You, that you call yourself anointed man of God. You now love it. Ah, it's God bless you. You collected your way away. Money. You are going to hell. That is what God is talking about, though. Saying that the Christian has shed their soul for the devil and they are going to hell. 
Do you now know that through two, you have sent your soul for the devil? You needed her to do amendment. Do you not know that the devil has trapped you? Eh? You know that your husband is a thief. Or your brother is a thief. And whenever he sends you money, you go collect and you spend that. Or your son, you know the kind of work he's doing. And he gave you money, you begin to spend it. dangerous I pray the Lord God will help you in Jesus name I pray we help you in Jesus name another thing the Lord mentioned is bet my jazz playing belt sport belt Ah, uh, this kind of bed and so on and so forth. It can take you to hell. It's an exchange of soul. Playing bed is an exchange of soul. There are some games you will play on the internet now for free. For the game. You will. game. When you play it, they give you dollar. For oh, it's not it's, it's not a scam. It's have, they have it on net. When you play just playing game, they will give you money. All those games are a treat of your soul to the devil. There are many things the Lord mentioned to me that the Christians are trading their soul in the process. Extending their soul just to get involved, get money. The job you do that is not pleasing to God is the etching of your soul. My dear brothers and sisters, I want you to think very well. Search where you have making mistakes. And I pray that the Lord will save you and help you in Jesus' name. My brother, God bless you. My sister, God bless you. This is a message. God is asking me to send to you. I pray the Lord God will be with you in Jesus' name. I know there are questions that will be coming up. Sir, what of Forest Street? Sir, what was Octa of Office? I mean, what are they calling it? What of online district? I'm coming on that. That one is another message entirely. I'm not going to talk about it here because we have to go deep in that one. The Lord bless you. The Lord be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bye-bye. God bless you. You are blessed. I pray you will make it to heaven. And God will help you to make a right way and be able to rescue your soul. Please. In, the name of God. in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't go without subscribing to my channel don't go without press a bell notification button you have to subscribe there are many revelation messages that is still coming for you to hear there are many revelation messages you need to subscribe god bless you god be with you and once again we used to do zoom meeting we used to do zoom meeting and uh, you can join us there also, if you want to pay your tithe or offering, or you want to support us, you can also uh, ascend, communicate with me on WhatsApp. I pray Jesus Christ Almighty will uphold you and will set you free from dark activities in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God be with you. Bye.